dogs. Different dogs. There are lots of different kinds of dogs. Some are very big, but others are tiny. They can have long fur or short fur. This spotted dog is called a Dalmatian. Puppies, mother dogs, only give birth to between six and ten puppies. They sleep close together to keep warm. A group of puppies is called a litter. Puppies begin to walk at two weeks old. They like to explore as they get older. Puppies grow their first teeth at three weeks old and begin to eat solid food. They start to grow their adult teeth at four months old and like to chew things. Playtime. Puppies start to play together when they are about three weeks old. Puppies like to play fight. They jumped on top of each other to show who is strongest. Dogs often chase each other around parks. They take turns being chased. Some dogs live in the wild. Wolves are the wild dogs. Their pup play like pet puppies. Pet puppies chase after things for fun. Wild pups chase them too, but they are learning to hunt. In the park, dogs like to be with people or other dogs. Wolves live in groups called packs. There can be up to 15 wolves in a pack. One of the wolves is the pack leader. The other wolves follow their leader's orders. Pet dogs sometimes think their owner is their pack leader. A dog greets its pack leader by licking its face. Then it lies on its back to show it knows who is boss. Puppies often play as if they are in a park. One of the puppies is always more bossy than the rest. It acts as the park leader. On guard, a dog's home and the area around it is called its territory. Dogs think they own their territory, so they guard it. They bark when strangers come near. Passengers are the only kind of dog that can't bark. Dogs white around their territory to leave their smell behind. When a dog sniffs an area, it can tell if it belongs to another dog. Dogs try to take over each other's territory. A dog sniffs a post where another dog has already been. When it wipes the post to cover up the other dog's smell. Dog talk. Dogs make lots of noises, but they use their face and body to show how they feel too. A dog wags its tail quickly when it is happy or excited. It growls and shows its teeth when it is very angry. It breaks its ears up when it is interested in something. It pulls its tail between its legs if it thinks it is in trouble. Some dogs howl. If they are left alone, they are calling to their owner. This dog wants to play. It has put its front legs down and its bottom in the air. This is called a play ball. Digging. Dogs like to dig for fun, but they dig for lots of other reasons too. A mother-built dog 
digs a deep hole in the ground. The hole is called a den. She crawls inside to have her pups. The pups live inside the den. Well, they're very young. On a hot day, some dogs dig a hole in the ground. Then they lie in the hole because it's cooler there. Dogs often bring their toys to keep them safe. They dig them up when they want to play. In the wild, wild dogs hunt for food in packs. Their young pups stay behind in the dawn. These American wild dog pups are waiting for their pack to return from hunting. American wild dogs live in hot places, so they spend most of the day resting in the shade. On a hunt, a pack of American wild dogs creeps up on a group of zebras. The zebras scatter when they see the dogs. The dogs begin to chase one of the zebras. When the zebra gets tired, the dogs catch it and gather around to eat it. Sniffing around, dogs have an amazing sense of smell. They can tell more about something by smelling it than by looking at it. Dogs sniff each other when they meet. They can tell how old another dog is, and if it's a male or a female just by sniffing it. After a dog has been given a bath, its fur smells different, so it rolls in smiley things to cover up the new smell. Dogs wiggle their noses when they sniff to get a better smell. Blood horns have the best sense of smell. It is thousands of times better than yours. Research and Rescue Dogs use their good sense of smell to help people find things and other people. At airports, trained dogs sniff people's bike. They find things that people are not allowed to take on planes, such as animals and weapons. After an earthquake, dogs help rescue teams search through the rubble. Rescue teams use dogs to find people who are lost on mountains. A dog can smell if someone is trapped under the snow. The dog barks when it finds someone and the team digs them out. Clever helpers. Some dogs are trained to help people who can't hear or see very well. Caring dogs tell their owner if they hear a sound, such as an alarm clock. The dog touches its owner with a paw when it hears a sound. If it hears a smoke alarm, the dog lies down to show danger. If it hears a doorbell, the dog then leads its owner to the door. Guide dogs help people who can't see well to travel safely. The dogs are trained to lead their owner around things. They learn to wait at the end of the road until it is safe to cross. Sheep dogs. Farmers use dogs to round up sheep in fields. A kind of dog called a border collie is often used as a sheep dog. This puppy will start training to be a sheepdog when it is six months old. 
Sheep dogs can also be trained to round up cows, goats, and even ducks. The farmer uses a whistle and shouts to the sheep dog. The sheep dog creeps behind the sheep. And guides them to a sheep pen. If a sheep strings from the group, the sheep dog runs over to get it back again. Slide dogs, teams of dogs, pull slide across the snow. Some people use them to travel around. Other people risk them for fun. Each dog wears a harness. Which clips onto a long line. Then the line is joined to the front of the slide. The person who drives the slide is called a marshal. Slide dogs get hungry after running a race. They eat six times as much food as pet dogs. The dogs often wear socks to protect their paws. From the snow, the marshal shouts, "Hike or let's go!" to start the dogs. Dog families. If a mother or a father dog look exactly the same, their puppies look the same too. They are called pure brides. The Spanish mountain dog puppy will grow up to look like. Its parents. If a mother and a father dog don't look the same, their puppies look like a mixture of both of them. Dogs that are a mixture of different kinds are called mixed breeds. Mixed breed dogs are often more healthy and live longer than pure bred dogs. 欢迎大家来云 Bye Time 一起看绘本。